All right, welcome to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host of the most. So this video right here, I've been thinking about it for a while because I know that there are a lot of ignorant people on social media and they might not listen to the video long enough to catch what it is I was trying to do with this video, right? So I thought about it for a long time. Should I do it? How should I do it? All this other stuff. All right. How to sell your soul for fame and wealth. How to sell your soul for fame and wealth. So one time I threw up a hand sign, right? And somebody said, oh, SoFlo TV, you throwing up the devil horns now? No wonder your channel started growing so much. No wonder you started getting all these, um, no wonder you started getting all these views and subscribers and your channel is just growing on rapid because I couldn't see anything special that you were doing. <laughs> you couldn't see anything special I was doing. Oh, the hate. The hate is real. Yeah. But this video is about how to sell your soul for fame and riches. All right. So this is what you do. And I'm going to walk you through it step by step. For those of you who want to sell your soul for fame and riches. But please remember this. After you're finished selling your soul for fame and riches. That contract is a contract that cannot be taken back. You are in for the full ride. Alright? You're going to have to see this thing all the way through to the end. Scary stuff. I know somebody right now have their Bible right beside them and they're saying, Boy, I find that scripture. I watch what SoFlo is saying because as soon as he start, I'm about to start pelting Bible verses at him in the name of this. <laughs> Alright. This is how you do it. What you want to do is you want to get in tuned with whatever it is that's out there. And I'm going to speak a little bit in codes and not give away everything. So you want to get in tune with whatever it is that's out there. The powers that be that control this realm. So for instance, you see a lot of murders going on and a lot of killings, a lot of um, rape, a lot of abuse of children. And you're saying to yourself, hey man. This looks away because, I mean, I really have to question if there's a God because what kind of God, unless God has like a sixth sense of humor, because what kind of God, all-seeing, all-knowing God would just sit by and let a grown 30, 40-year-old man penetrate a little 4-year-old, 5-year-old girl, bust up our vagina, right? And God just sit there and let it happen? And I'm sorry to be so graphic, but I have to, right? So, here is how you sell your soul. You connect with the energies, powers that rule, rule this realm, right? You do it through darkness and meditation. And you go into that place. Quiet. Darkness and meditation. And when you get there, you will feel the presence of that energy. And when you feel the presence of that energy, you know sometimes you you somewhere and you're like, Ooh, no man, something may feel, you know, so you're in the presence of certain individuals or certain places and something hits you. Whether it's Goosebumps just raise up everywhere, hair stand up on the back of your neck, whatever it is, right? A certain smell that you don't smell anywhere else, whatever it is, your senses are heightened. You will know when that presence appears. Sometimes you have to call upon that, pre upon that being multiple times. They will eventually appear. And the more sincere you are in calling is the more they will probably appear faster. Now, remember, warning, 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 you have to remember that you cannot go back on this contract. I would never sign a contract that I cannot renege 
on or if not renege, I don't have a out to it. You have no out to this contract. Whatever your heart desire is going to be given to you. But you cannot renege on this contract. All right. So you let your thought, you let your wants be known. And you let it be known what you are willing to do in return for your fame and your riches on earth. Okay? There's so and so. I know you're here. I feel your presence. I'm not afraid. I respect you. I am willing to trade my soul for blah, 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 whatever it is you want to trade your soul for, and you converse with whatever it is that appears. Now, here's the thing. You do not control this contract. Not only do you not have an out, you don't control this contract. So there are written writings in the contract that there are writings in the contract that you won't be able to negotiate. For instance, if I sign a contract for somebody with somebody and it says on January 1st, 2020, I will perform at your club for two hours and the fee is $2,500. Nothing further. Okay. Deposit up front. $1,000. Deposit paid. I will show up on the day the contract says. Perform that day. Get the rest of my money. As says in the contract. Totaling $2,500. Go about my business. This contract is not like that. This contract goes like this. You show up. You say what you want. That deity says, <laughs> I will grant you, thank you for your soul. I will grant you your wishes. I will let you know the things I need from you as time goes by. So, your first piece of wish, you, you go away from that meeting like this. Your first piece of wish starts to come through. You start seeing, first nothing happens. But you don't lose hope. Because you're committed. And the deity knows. So the deity makes sure, starts bestowing things upon you. Here's your first one. Oh, wow. I never made so much money before out of one deal. I don't even know how I got this opportunity. Oh, damn, that's why. Boom, another one. Oh, wow. Now you're stoked. Boom, another one. And it's rolling and it's picking up. And then, boom, appear to you when you're driving down the street or late night when you're laying down by yourself. Or you're somewhere in a drunken stupor partying senselessly. Whenever, wherever. Hey. I need you to do something for me. This is what I need from you. And I need it done. Tonight. What is it? You can't say, I'm not doing that. You got to be down to play. You understand? I'm giving you things. You're on my contract. It's time for you to make good. Now, after you do this deed for me, I will continue to bring all your dreams to fruition. And the first thing you have to do is bad, and it's not so bad, but you hide that evil deed and you tell yourself, uh, if I drink enough alcohol or something, I could get that part out of my mind. 
So you get drunk and stupid and you think you can forget things. And you go on and time goes on and more stuff is bestowed upon you. And you're happy with your riches and your riches are starting to pile up. Opportunities are starting to pile up. You're starting to rub elbows and be in a circle that you never thought you could ever be in. Around people that you usually see as stars. And now you're a 